A new set of court documents was just released in the Gina Carano vs. Disney lawsuit. Nice. I hope Gina Carano absolutely destroys specifically Kathleen Kennedy and then Disney afterwards. Uh, what they did was wrong on every level. She didn't do anything wrong. And uh, let's, let's watch, see what, uh, see what he says. And in these documents, it has a list of names of people that probably are going to be called to testify. I mean, look at this headline from The Hollywood Reporter. Gina Carano calls off. for Pedro Pascal, Kathleen Kennedy to testify. Oh, yeah. The, the amount, you, you know for a fact, the majority of them under oath lie. You know, it's just, it's just a joke. Over Mandalorian firing. And there's some other people on that list as well. And we're going to go over it. But before we do... Could you please do me a massive favor and hit that subscribe button? It's just the yeah, free please thing guys subscribe helps out the channel. And besides, I'm going to actually drunk C3 is actually a really good channel. I, I would check him out from you. this court case. So you might as well be subscribed if you want to keep up with Gina versus Disney. Now let's get into it. Gina Carano's legal battle over her firing from The Mandalorian could feature a star-studded cast of witnesses, including Pedro Pascal, Jon Favreau, mm -hmm. and ex-Disney chief executive Bob Chapek. Nice. So I think Jon Favreau, I think he would stand her corner, and apparently she's going to be really good friends with Pedro Pascal, so I think he would stand her corner as well. Um... I mean, I know, I know about the the tweet that caused all the issues, and it wasn't anything bad. And then I've seen way worse things from other stars, and nothing's happened to them. And that's just wrong. You can't have one rule for one lot of people and one rule for everybody else. It doesn't work. That's not how how things should be. And I'm glad Disney are getting thrown to the ringer for this, because it should do. Absolutely should do goes on to say that Karana pointed to those names as potential witnesses that could be called to testify in her case. She also included Bear Grylls, Kathleen Kennedy, and Lynn Hale. Here's the uh, Bear Grylls. documents right here. Here Bear are Bear all the names look. listed. Could you imagine if they were able to get Bob Chapek, Kathleen Kennedy, John Favreau, all these people together in the courtroom to uh, tell all as to what's going on. Now, the article clears up as to why certain individuals on this list are being called into court. And that's something that some of you might not know. Okay. Like why in the world would Bear Grylls be called into court? And we'll, we'll go over all that in the, uh, in the article. Going back to the article, it says, another contested issue is whether Karana was treated differently than her male co-star. I yeah, think this is where I think there's a case Pascal for that comes into play. It says she pointed to Pascal's 2017 post comparing former President Donald Trump to the guy over there that used to uh, be in charge of Germany way back in World War II. It's a bit harsh, isn't it? Other posts from Pascal cited in the lawsuit included one of him comparing the United States' response to those entering the country illegally. To Germany's concentration camps. Yeah, so she's like, hey, uh, this is your main guy. He's posting political stuff and nothing happened to him. Uh, I Ooh. posted something on an Instagram story that... Uh, I, I didn't know he'd posted things like that. I mean, comparing Donald Trump to he who shall not be named. Um, and then saying that it's like German concentration. That is... That is some pretty sick uh, thing to be saying, and some a lot of built-up hatred there, like venomous hatred, like Jesus. And her post wasn't even anything remotely near that bad. So how come nothing happened to him? But then she's like tossed to the side. I think I think she's going to win in lawsuit. I do too. She's going to destroy him. Yeah, no, absolutely. There's, there's not going to be, there's not going to be much Disney's going to be able to do about this, regardless of all the money and all the lawyers that they have. They're going to be paying out substantial amounts of money. Uh, 
was deleted in 24 hours, and this is why you fired me? Or was it the beep bop boop thing? You know, you fired me for putting droid pronouns in my Twitter bio? See, that was cool, man. Once you put a pronoun going beep bop boo rather than boop bop beep or whatever it was. That was cool. I mean, I don't think anybody was offended by that. Why? Why would you be? That's just I, in my mind. That's just um, a playful, a playful thing to do. You know, you're you're actually in Star Wars, and you're just like playing with the fans and going beep bop beep bop boop. You know, did you did any of you guys think it was? Were you offended or thought it was a bad thing to put? No funny, no, no. I didn't know about it. Okay, well you're useless. <laughs> Thanks for that. But uh, look what he's comparing a former president to. Nothing happened to him, huh? So Pedro Pascal. Next up is John Favreau. He will probably be called to testify on whether Disney Green. I know he tried to stop it happening and tried to get Rangers it back. Of the New Republic. That would feature Gina Carano's Cara Dune as one of its lead characters. Kennedy in 2020 confirmed production of the title, so that's probably why Kennedy will be there. It's like, no, we had uh, we had no Kennedy confirms plans for Cara Dune, so we just things let left, it go. right, and center that never happened. Yeah, put an entire series together around her character, and you. I the most probably watched Gina Carano's character. Come out and say, yeah, we if they'd done a whole spinoff for it, that's it. No, I like uh, uh, I like Jenny Crow. No I think deal. she's moving on. proper so, decent person. Absolutely, that will be huge. If John Favreau's like, yeah, I got it right. She was here. great in Here's Deadpool. The whole she was. She was really and good in Kennedy Deadpool. Said go with it, but then she changes her tune. Nah, come on. Come she on. really did punch Ryan Reynolds. That alone will be yeah, no. Bear Grylls may be called to testify over allegations that Disney pulled an episode of Running Wild with Bear Grylls that featured Carano. After she was terminated, a lot of you. Ah, uh, right. So she got she got terminated, and then she was meant being a featured Bear Grylls, and like, well, we can't have her. We just sacked her. So they pulled the entire episode. That's that's a bit spiteful, isn't it? That's a bit harsh. I mean, you're going a bit above and beyond there to be a dick to somebody. Would it have hurt to let that? To, I mean, the thing is, it would have most probably actually got a lot of views, maybe even more views because she'd been terminated. But because of who she is, you know, she's like a proper, like, is it MMA fighter or something? So she's proper, she's a proper hard lass. Um, and she can, you know, so you'd think she can look after herself. To see her do Bell Girls, that'd be awesome. I might not remember or even heard of this story. Now, this is a huge shout out to YouTubers and people on the internet who cracked this story. What happened was, while she was still employed with Lucasfilm, Gina Carano filmed an episode with Bear Grylls. of Running Wild with Bear Grylls. Yeah. That, of course, airs on National Geographic. National Geographic is owned um, by, by Disney. Disney. Yep. When Gina was fired, there was this push to kind of erase Gina from existence. And people noticed, some YouTubers noticed, that on the list of episodes that hers just magically disappeared like the title of it just kind of disappeared man. it just said bear grills that was it it was no listing that it was gina's episode or anything else now all the other episodes had the name of the celebrity that was hanging out with bear grills hers there's just no need magically for magically disappeared they well, really us, look like me proper went and this for is one it, of my they? biggest tweets ever we tweeted at Bear Grylls and was like, hey, what's the deal here? Why is Gina's episode not airing? Why was it suddenly removed? Explain. A lot of people were tagging him in that. A lot of support was coming Gina's way. Mm, and she got he loads reached of support. out to whoever he reached out and said, put this episode back on. Like, how? why would you remove it? We worked hard on this episode. And this makes no sense. And he fought to get that mm, put good. back on and um it was it was put back on Yay. i remember i did a watch party here for it on the channel go on jay and, uh, it was a great episode i think gina ate worms or something on that maggots yeah. <laughs> something 
It, you never know Ew. with Bear Grylls, right? And so that was a big deal. You didn't see of it. No, Disney's I didn't see I didn't even know. to erase anything Gina Carano from their existence. There's also other things out there of an artist who was painting this portrait. I have a video on that, too. It's on the channel. Was painting this portrait of Mandalorian Season 2. And halfway through it, you could see Gina Carano. Cara Dune was right on there. Uh, he tweeted out. He didn't even realize that it would make such a big noise. People were like, hey, wasn't Cara Dune on this before? Why was it changed? He goes, I just got a call from Lucasfilm, and they asked me to replace Cara Dune with Ahsoka. So I'm just an artist. I'm just doing what I get paid to do. And that went nuclear. YouTubers and everyone else came mm, and said, look, this, I didn't is hear about that. this is Disney trying to erase Cara Dune. There was even stories out there. They were pulling all her toys off the shelf, and people couldn't find them anywhere. And the more people were loud about it... The the thing is, they trying they pulled off her, pulled her toys off all the shops everywhere. Why don't you just, Disney, pull all your toys off all the shops? Because nobody wants your trash. Nobody wants these things. That's why there's things from the original uh, Force Awakens movie still on sale at like $2 because no one is buying them. That's why there's like millions of Ray dolls everywhere in shops because nobody wants the Ray doll. There's, there's, there's loads of things. People just don't want Disney merch because no one's happy with it. I mean, if, if, you're, if you're happy with Disney hat off to you i'm really glad couldn't be happier for you really honestly genuine if you love the star disney star wars great really happy for you me personally i think they destroyed it i think kathleen kelly has absolutely destroyed it personally but that's just me but that's just my my view if you like it good on you and making a stink about it and like how could you do this it's obvious what you're doing here Lucasfilm. It is obvious what you're doing yeah. here, Kathleen Kennedy. To everyone, it made her character more popular. It made people get on the Gina Carano bandwagon and see justice being served. The article continues, says, in the filing, Disney pushed back on Carano's list of witnesses while saying that it may call Lucasfilm vice president of animation. Why would Lucasfilm's vice president of animation have anything to do with this this trial anyway because you'll well, see something the live action development and disney's executive vice president of communications to testify communications that could be you, like the only call people that can help well and, yeah uh, the twitter so if, if you're somebody that, that can help the case in gina carano's thing then they'll pull but, that person uh, in that they'll call for like none of these people have anything to do with the mandalorian and this case absolutely and i love the fact at the conclusion of this article it states this carano potentially lost out on millions of mm, dollars yeah talking about the contract for disney um her salary would have started between 150 to 250k per episode with each season possibly up to 10 episodes per season so yeah yeah because of what they did to her uh, Gina Carano lost out on a lot. Oh, yeah. So, with all that being said, do you think we could literally like five see million that she would have made for one Kathleen season? Kennedy, series, Pedro, season. John, Bear Grylls, all in the courtroom together. Bear Grylls, like all just sitting there together. Like uh, I can't believe I'm here. Right. Can't believe this is happening. You know, um, <sighs> probably Chapek is gonna laugh. You know, maybe maybe Chapek. This is his opportunity. To spill the to spill the beans, spill the tea, mm, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. On everything that happened when that's a good call. Uh, he was there and how he got kicked out by Bob Iger. Yeah, I mean, how how salty and bitter could J J uh, Bob Chapek be? Because he was basically he got the job, promoted to top boss, and then he got dumped. He was at a, he was at a sporting event and got dumped at a sporting event, like. Hey, is that JPEG? Yeah, you're fired. So he's if if I I bet he's got loads of dirt that he could uh, could pour into this if he's in the mood to, you know, loads. So maybe he's gonna take this as an opportunity to go. Um, please call me to the stand. 
I got a lot of things to say. He'll blubber. Um, yeah. This is what Kathleen Kennedy said. This is what he said. This is what they said. Of course, they kicked her out because of her politics. And Bob Iger does this to everybody. Look what he did to me. Blah. Oh, man. This could get wild. This could get wild. Because when you're called to court, he's got to tell the truth. Mm. I don't think the NDAs are, are – if he signed an NDA agreement, I don't think um, he's allowed. I mean, I guess he could plead – the NDA doesn't mean anything in court. Yeah. Well, no, in, in court, he has to, if they ask him a question, he has to answer it, honestly. Um, it doesn't matter if he's under an NDA, if he had signed an NDA. It, the court precedes an NDA. So, you'll he'll have to you'll have to answer any of the questions. Uh, but, yeah, Gina Carano. I mean, this, this could be what finally turns Disney around and stops them being so woke and pathetic and useless at everything and actually is the start of something good for Disney. I mean, the thing is, yeah, it's like 150 to 250,000 per episode. So it'd be about 5 million for a season, but there's absolutely nothing saying that you couldn't have done three seasons. That's 50 million. But then what if there's other things, other spin-offs? What if her own show happened? Well, that's another season. What if that had done really well? And there's like three seasons of that. You know, that's now 30 million. You know, you can speculate on this at all. Um, you can speculate in lots of ways. What if there was a movie? That'd be even more. Well, how about, how has it affected her potential to um, get an income? Just by what they've done uh, to her. You know, they've, they've damaged her career significantly for, for basically nothing. You know, so you've got to take that into consideration. That she's lost. I mean, I know Gina Carano comes from a lot of money. I think her family owns a casino or something. And she's never going to be in a position where she'll ever have to worry about money. But the fact that she has gone off and forged her own path in life in a completely separate uh, direction to her family's assets is so commendable. And then using that to then go into doing films and TV and that sort of thing is huge. And the fact that Disney have then destroyed that for her pretty much is is a massive thing. And I think uh, I think she's going to. I'm hoping she's going to get every single thing and more that she's deserved. And heads should roll for it because it's disgusting what they did to her. It really is.